welcome back to Who's Line Is It Anyway? The show where everything's made up and the points don't matter. Hey, we have a big score from the last round. If you're watching a TV that's made in America, it'll appear right on the bottom of your screen. <laughs> now we go on to a game called Weird Newscasters. For all four of you, Brad, you're going to be the anchorman of a news show. And uh, Colin, Wayne, and Ryan are going to be the co-presenters. And uh, Colin, you're going to... You're going to play a character, or you're a kid showing off in class. Uh, Wayne, you're going to be doing sports, and you're a teenager who can't believe he's being dumped by his girlfriend. And Ryan, you're the weatherman, you're getting younger and younger. So whenever you hear the music, Brad. Whenever you hear the music, Brad. Hello, and welcome to the 6.30 News. I'm your host, Chuck Sirloy. Vice President Al Gore was at a fundraiser today where he walked around in women's lingerie for charity purposes. People say he looked good in a pink slip. Look what I'm doing. Look how tough. Look how I'm talking. Look how fast I'm talking. Look how fast. Look how, look how I'm not talking. Look how fast my mouth is going. I can go. Look, look, look how fast it's going. My mouth is going really fast. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Well, isn't that refreshing? Just a little too much riddling. All right, now let's find out what's going on at the sports desk, shall we? Here's Frank Clam Chowder. Frank? Sir, uh, um, today the Buccaneers, they lose again, but... Dude, what the... Because he lost the ball. Like I lost you. You suck. I hate you. Yeah. I hate you. Yeah, brah. I feel like the meat in an incompetent sandwich. <laughs> and, and speaking of weather, let's find out from Al Nino what the weekend has in store. Well, thank you, Brad. <laughs> Well, as you can see, we've got some clouds moving in over the weekend. Hopefully that'll clear up a little later in the week. A little later in the week where that is so cool that that's going to happen. I can't believe she kissed me. Why would she kiss me like that? Good, 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 like the weekend weather report is just going to be a gleam in someone's eye. That's all the time we have for the 6.30 News. Stay tuned tonight at 11. Thank you. Good night. You're fired. Greg, your co-anchor is Colin. And Colin, you can no longer hide his love for Greg. <laughs> <laughs> and sportscaster is Wayne. Wayne, you're going to be doing James Brown. Oh, yeah. uh, and weatherman is Ryan. Ryan, you're the anchor's angry neighbor. So uh, as soon as you hear the music, go ahead and start the show. Good evening. I'm packed nightly. <laughs> this is Action News, and this is the top story. Drunken pigs have taken over the town of Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Colin? You said that so nicely. <laughs> you know, if you're an X-Files fan, you're into conspiracies and hidden secrets, and sometimes those secrets just have to come out. Sometimes there's something unspoken between two people, maybe more on the side of one person than the other, but I've got to tell you something, Greg. Ever since I saw you in WPPL out there in Omaha saying the news, my heart just broke. My God, you're beautiful. Kiss me. Kiss me like you've never kissed an anchor before. Oh, God! I am truly a man! Our second story, Colin has come out. Now, it's time for sports. And I know I'm ready for some. Wayne! Huh? Wayne! Huh. Let us know what's going on over at the sports world. What you want? Huh. Got nothing in huh. 
become the cardinal. Then anyone won the baseball game. Huh, you gotta get up. Huh, you gotta get up. Huh, because the score was zero one and hit a goal. Huh, a goal. He did. Huh, can they want hit me? Did you did too bad, man. Huh, shut your mouth. Ha, gotta hit a baseball now. Huh, can I get it? Huh, I can't do it. I can't. Ah, yeah, get that goal. Huh, gotta get that goal. Huh, I got it. Ah, can I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Ah, huh, huh, huh. No, Jay, that's enough. I can't do it. Huh. Hi. I saw the way you looked at him, but I don't care. You're big enough for the both of us. You was a fruit loop. <laughs> well, uh, now it's time for weather. And let's go to Ryan over at the big satellite weather map. Ryan, what's on tap this weekend? Well, thank you, Pact. Thanks for remembering me over here. Thank you very much, Pac. Well, we've got some uh, cloudy, cloudy weather, some bad weather coming in in the next little while. And after seeing you naked prancing around the house, I've got to say we've got some small craft warnings to be seen. We've got some lightning coming in, and I hope it hits your house and fries you like a steak. You can do better than him. You're way too good for him. Back to you, Pac. Well, thank you. <clears throat> that, that's been the news this evening, and I'm sure you've enjoyed it as much as I am. Uh, have? Tune in. Tune in. Tune in tomorrow for Love Muffins, our morning program. I'll be there with Colin to explain everything. Good night, everyone. <laughs> yes. Brad, your co-anchor is going to be Colin. Colin, you're a bad stand-up comic. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, your character is a bad stand-up comic. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, well, my mistake. Uh, Wayne, you're the sports guy, and you're going to be doing your sports cast on a big uh, public address system on, in a big stadium. And the weatherman is Ryan, and Ryan, you're a stock market trader watching your life savings disappear. Uh, and so, Brad, <laughs> Brad, whenever you hear the music start, you can just go ahead. Hello and welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm Richard Sportwood and with the national news, here's Peter Longfellow. Peter? Hi! Well, it seems all the fish in the rivers are dying. Could this be an act of cod? <laughs> Some people think it's because of the heavy rains lately. It was raining cats and dogs. I stepped into a poodle. <laughs> it's like puddle but spelt differently. <laughs> I have 28 more minutes. <laughs> sure is quiet in the newsroom, isn't it? All right, and now let's go over to the sports. Please welcome Carlos. Nice package. Carlos. Thank, thank, thank you, 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 four, 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 come, 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 ming, 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 ah, nah, the 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 bull bull bulls look like like they 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 will 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 sweep 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 the the whole whole thing 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 the the whoop 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 kick 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 up the the yeah 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 half half and subi be number number twenty twenty four 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 thank you Carlos I echo that sentiment and now on to the weather please welcome Jerry Throbmorton Jerry. And with the weather, Jerry Throbmorton. Oh, I'm sorry. Hello and a happy day. <laughs> Sunny out now, but it looks like we're going to have cloudy days ahead. Cloudy, cloudy days ahead. <laughs> Storms on the rise, as you can see it. What's it matter? What's it matter, anybody? I don't get... Ah! <laughs> That's all the time we have tonight on the 6 o'clock news. I guess we won't find out about that weekend weather, will we? Uh, I guess not. All right, tune in later for the local news at 10. Thank you so much. <laughs> Colin, your uh, co-anchor is Greg. Greg's a gremlin. <laughs> Wayne, you're the sportscaster. You're an overly emotional preacher at a funeral. And uh, the weatherman is Ryan. Ryan, you're being attacked by increasingly ferocious animals. 
So, Greg, whenever you hear the music, go ahead and give it a shot. Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm your anchor, Wolverine St. Jack John. Our top story, an infinite amount of monkeys came up with the Fox Fall lineup. And now we go over to our co-anchor, Twice Nightly. Should never have taken that shower. <laughs> and now off we go to sports. <laughs> Thank you. In today's sports, the Redskins. Who are we to call them Redskins? <laughs> Just because they catch the ball and run, oh, no, 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 what are we? <laughs> call them the Redskins. Because he who passes the ball is he who catches, but is not the one who doth thought that he caught the ball therefore with, amen? you to think the next time you're throwing the ball is it gonna catch it no because the lord got the ball the lord got the ball you don't got the ball i got the <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. praise you it's good thank you people. this just in nine out of ten dentists agree the tenth one should really chill out and now it's time to go over to our wacky weatherman, Jiggs McKenzie. Well, thank you very much. Uh, as you can see, we've got some hot weather coming in, some uh, flash floods in store for us. <laughs> Which should be uh, forcing the small critters out of their holes. In the future, uh, we've got enough here. Rats! 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 Well, that's the Sixty Rock News. See you again tomorrow on Wolverine St. Jack Dawn. Colin, you're the co-anchor, and Denny has been spreading rumors about a disastrous state with you. Talking bad about you behind your back. Uh, Wayne, you're doing sports, and you're caught in the middle of a busy freeway. And Ryan, you're the weatherman, you're Frankenstein's monster, and you're looking for a mate. <laughs> I don't know why we came up with a big, tall, scary guy for you to play, but hey, that's how it happened. <laughs> so, Danny, whatever, hear the music, go ahead and start. Hello, and welcome to the 6 o'clock evening news. I'm your anchor, Fifi Leadbottom, and my therapist is on vacation. Our top story tonight, researchers working at two major universities have discovered that nobody cares anymore if you work at a major university. <laughs> and now for more news, over to my co-anchor, Ripley back. Ripley? This just in, 10 out of 10 men need a second chance. <laughs> a second chance, that's all I need. I didn't know your shirt was flammable. <laughs> I didn't know. God. Ripley, you need a breath mint. Get a hold of yourself. <laughs> Moving on now. We're going over to our sports guy. It's Ripley Arm. Ripley? Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Uh, right now, uh, the state of the uh, whole basketball thing is a, uh, is a uh, nothing's moving. Nothing, nothing at all. What? Your mama? <laughs> oh, oh, what? What? Huh? What? I will kick. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> Because the lockout, lockout, damn, I'm locked out. Fine. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, look, I'll get right back to you. It appears that nothing's moving at all right now. And I, oh! Well, that's going to be the end of his new uh, sportscast for a very long time. My mother had a really nice time. Why don't you just accept her? Speaking of a nice time, it's a nice time to go to our weather guy, Just Ripley. Just? Rain on weekend. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh.
Gregg, you're the uh, co-anchor of the show, and you are Captain Kirk. <laughs> Wayne, you're going to be doing the sports. You're on a videotape that's speeding up and slowing down. And Ryan, you're doing the weather. You're an excited rock star in front of a big crowd. So whenever you hear the music, Colin, take it away. Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm Bern Knightley. Our top story today, a national study shows that balding men make the best lovers. And now, over to my new co-anchor. Please, welcome Captain Kirk. Start eight. Five, nine, six, two, three. Spock, what is it? We've got to deliver the... News. <laughs> now, over to sports. Thank you. All right, folks, today we know that the San Diego Padres are kings. They are sweeping everything, and it turns out they're like yours and two. They he hit the ball, and it went fall. <laughs> And that's why he's going to be voted VIP. <laughs> well, now over to weather with Skippy Bartholomew. Skippy. Right, Los Angeles, are you ready for some weather? Yeah! One. Two, one, two, three, four days of sunshine ahead this week. It's gonna cloud up later in the week. <laughs> and then you have rain on the weekend, rain on the weekend! The weekend! Thank you, Skippy. Well, that's the 6 o'clock news. Please stay tuned. In most of the country, you'll be seeing a very special Dukes of Hazards. Until tomorrow, this is the 6 o'clock news. Good night. Colin, you're the co-anchor. Colin, you'll be acting out scenes from a soap opera. Doing sports is Wayne. Wayne, you're a middle-aged woman who's proud of her body. And Ryan, you're gonna do the weather. Ryan, you're a uh, Tarzan, sensing that your woman is in danger. <laughs> so, uh, whenever you hear the music, Denny, go ahead and start the show. Hello, and welcome to the six o'clock evening news. I'm your anchor, Ling Ling, and I feel most comfortable in a leafy environment. <laughs> Our top story tonight. Automakers have found that people who believe in reincarnation are less likely to wear a seatbelt. <laughs> and now, for more news, over to my co-anchor, Rusty Nail. Rusty. How can you be so calm, Ling Ling? <laughs> While you're carrying my baby. I'm not even sure if it is my baby. It could be my brother Rogers, the aerobics instructor with a difference. <laughs> my God, doesn't it matter that I have a rare tropical disease? <laughs> that I'm slowly... Where am I? Thank you very much, Rusty. And now on to sports with our sports guy, Rusty Bumper. Rusty, over to you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> in sports today, the Rams are doing it and doing it well, as LL would say. The important thing about these guys is they're in shape, just like me. Who would have thunk? 15 kids and damn, look at that. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. this just in, I feel that much worse about my big old flabby butt. <laughs> and now, over to the weather with Rusty Can. Rusty. Mm. Rain come weekend, make thing wet. <laughs> 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 
Monday sun come out, make thing warm, dry out. <laughs> Jane, trouble. Jane, Jane. Take Jane! No. Oh. Oh. Me got Jane. Oh, no Jane. <laughs> Ugly man. Thank you, Rusty. And that's all the time we have for the 6 o'clock news. Join us later at 11, and good night. Brad, your co-anchor is Colin. Colin, you only have a five-second memory. Just like in real life. <laughs> Doing sports is Ian Gomez. Ian, you're going to be Ricky Ricardo at his wit's end. <laughs> Ryan, you're the Wicked Witch from The Wizard of Oz. So uh, whenever you hear the music, go ahead and start. Hello and welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm Chester Flatbottom. <laughs> After a three and a half month medical survey, experts have proven that Al Gore is actually alive. <laughs> and now with the stock reports, please welcome Laszlo Turkey Baster. Laszlo. Thank you, Chester. Stocks are up, 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 up. Thank you, Chester. <laughs> Stocks are up, up, up. Thank you, Laszlo. I will move quickly on to sports. And now in sports, we had a wild day. Damien Hardpank. <laughs> eh, 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 eh. Thank you very much. Uh, we have a live feed from the hockey game that happened today. Let's take a look. There's Sandstrom going down the ice over the blue. That's not Sandstrom. Lucy! <laughs> Lucy, what are you doing there? I told her she can't go to the game today. Lucy, where's Freddie Nichols? I got a Lucy! And now let's look at what's in store for the weekend weather. Please welcome chlorophyll lettuce crisper. Chlorophyll? <laughs> yeah. You've come to see the weather, have you? It should be sunny all weekend. A good time to take your dog for a walk, your little dog. <laughs> That's all the time we have for the 6 o'clock news. Please tune in for the 6.05 news in just one minute. Good night. Greg, you're the uh, co-anchor. You're a crazed James Bond villain. <laughs> uh, Wayne, you're doing the sports. Uh, Wayne, you spot your girlfriend with another man in the audience. And Ryan, you're doing the weather, and you're a psycho with a chainsaw. No, no. So just pretend it's the weekend. <laughs> Whenever you hear the music, go ahead and start. Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. Our top story, wives live longer than husbands because they're not married to women. <laughs> and please join me in welcoming our newest co-anchor. Welcome. Thank you so much. Well, Mr. Bond, I suppose you think this is it. Perhaps you'd like to make love to my mistress before I fondue the world! <laughs> Minky doesn't like the anchor, do you, Minky? <laughs> you make her very upset. Perhaps you'd like to drop into my pool of piranhas. <laughs> oh, that one never works. Well, I see by the clock <laughs> on the wall, it is now time for sports with Crash Ripley. Crash. Hi, thank you very much. Well, it appears that in the uh, second month of the lockdown, uh, that, uh, that, that, the, that the NBA, nothing. <laughs> is that? What? 
the hell you do? <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me a second, right? I'm over here doing my job as weather man, right? And all of a sudden, now you want to go ahead and step up. What's, I got hair, girl. <laughs> what the hell you do? I don't understand. All I mean, every day I come to work and I pull down the screen and I put the football team and I come and I wear my fingers to the bone and you there with the ball, man. She with the ball, man. She with the ball. She with the ball, man. She with the ball. This just in, cheating girlfriends live longer than their boyfriends. <laughs> and now over to the weather. What's happening this weekend? <laughs> We're expecting a lot of rain in the state of Oregon. So let's just get rid of Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, just a bit, man. Calm down. It's just a bit. <laughs> man. Usually I give points to the performers, but this time, a thousand points to the ball guy. Good for you. Let's tell why I'm at it. A thousand points for the ball guy sitting next to you. <laughs> Colin, you're the co anchor. Uh, you think you're in a confessional. Sportscaster is Wayne. Wayne, you'll be delivering the sports report from underwater. <laughs> and Ryan, you're the weatherman, and you're a lost toddler looking for his mommy. <laughs> so, uh, Brad, whenever you hear the music, go ahead and start the news. Hello, and welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm Harry Hindquarters. <laughs> In international news, the country of Palakalakawaka declared a state of war against the United States after a mutated sheep did something strange at the embassy. We'll keep you up to date on further developments in this. And now with the local report, here's Chester Buttocks. Forgive me, it's... I haven't had my last confessional since... Uh, never. Uh, <laughs> I've been uh, very bad. I shave animals for my own entertainment. And then I make them do high-stepping Broadway musicals. Oh, what, what is my penance? Well, that's from the Too Much Information desk. And speaking of Hail Mary Pass, let's find out what's going on in sports. What a day in football. Please welcome David Derriere. David? Thanks a lot. Of another one. I have impure thoughts about the Teletubbies. For some reason, I feel like I need to take a bath. And now, with the weather, let's find out what's going to happen this weekend. Please welcome, with the weather, Garrison Tush. It's going to be cold this weekend. And dark, and I put me all alone. <laughs> Are you my mommy? <laughs> you <know> my mommy? 
Are you my mom? Are you my mom? You don't know. That's all the time we have for the 6 o'clock news. Sometimes it's just better to be held. Good night and thank you. Colin, you're the co-anchor, and you're a mother doing baby talk to Stephen. Sportscaster is Wayne. Wayne, you're going to be doing Bill Cosby. And Ryan, you're doing the weather. You're in love with the camera. Oh, yeah, you're talking about you on the show here. You're in love with the camera. So whenever you hear the music, go ahead and go. Welcome to News Watcher 10. I am Louis Dengel, and now the 6 o'clock news at 9. Tonight's top story... Tonight's top story, trouble causes problems. But first, an international report from Bill. Bill Rutherford, Bill. Who's the widow newsman? Who's the widow newsman? Oh, is that smelly? Is that a smelly? He go poo woo woo woo. He go poo woo 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 woo. Oh, that's a nasty thing. Oh, that's a nasty thing. I want a pretty. I want a pretty pretty pretty. I want a pretty 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 pretty. Keep us up to date on that, Bill. <laughs> now let's check out the world of sports with our own Skip and Lou. Skip. Ah, oh, you see. Because the guys are throwing the ball and they don't catch the ball because they're running like they're playing on jello. Ah. <laughs> if you throw the touchdown and they throw the points and all the seven of them, then they win and they all win. Ah. Sounds like a great game there, Skip. And now we'll check out tomorrow's weather with Storm Surge. Storm? Well, thank you very much. As you can see, we've uh, we got a lot of sunshine in store for us over the... <laughs> over the weekend, and uh, heading into Monday, we'll be getting a little... a little moisture. <laughs> a moisture that... Hello. Little moisture, I see, I see. Who's he? <laughs> Who the hell are you, Leave it alone. <laughs> Tramp, I gave you everything, you tramp. <laughs> That's our news for this evening. Don't forget, at 2 a.m., to turn your clocks back or forward 24 hours. Brad, your co-anchor is Colin. Colin, you're going to be too emotionally attached to the stories. <clears throat> Wayne, you're the sportscaster. You're going to play uh, Don King. <laughs> and Ryan, you're the weatherman. You're an astronaut walking in space, and things start going wrong. So whenever you hear the music, go ahead and start. Hello and welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm Chester Snapdragon McFisticuff. <laughs> Our top story from the Middle East, Benjamin Netanyahu today changed his name to Benjamin Netanyahu! <laughs> and on a different note, Terrible bus accident today. Blanched? Today there was an accident. A busload of penguins. <laughs> penguins! They don't do any harm to anyone. And they only have sex once a year. <laughs> oh, the inhumanity! <laughs> What's that? Get a grip, all right? Okay. Let's look at the sports. We've got a busy day in sports. Don't we, Sparky? Poof! 
Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Everybody's fighting. From the football players fighting about money to old ladies fighting about fighting. <laughs> Let me tell you, I can represent you. $50 million, my pocket, $2 million for you. Come on now. Well, that's all the news from the man who would be king. And now let's find out what's going on in the weather, shall we? Jeff Jiffyson. Well, I'm on the studio floor. Both feet are on the studio floor. Well, let's take a look at the weather map. I'm back. Well, as you can see, we've got clouds moving in over the Oregon area and up in Idaho, thunderstorms. My cord seems to be tangling. I'm having problem getting air. I don't know if I can... Now we should have opened the pod bay door. Well, that's all the time we have on the 6 o'clock news. I am Chesterfield Snapdragon McFisticuffs. <laughs> Greg's co-anchor is Colin. Colin, you're auditioning for roles in a horror movie. <laughs> Denny, you're doing sports. And you're a Catskills comedian. Good luck. And Ryan, you're doing the weather, and you keep carelessly throwing away your lit cigarettes. <laughs> so, Greg, whenever you hear the music, go ahead and start. Good evening. I'm shallow but authoritative. These are the headlines. There's apricots all over the Washington Monument. And monkey children have swarmed the Capitol. Colin? Everywhere chaos! Burning fire! No! 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 Stop it! We... Thank you, Colin. Now we move over to Denny at the sports desk. Denny, we understand you just flew in from New York City. Yeah, that's right. It was cold as heck up there. Anyway, I'm here to talk about sports. My husband is a big Yankees fan. Things haven't been so good with my husband lately. The other night he said to me, that was the worst sex we ever had. I said, honey, you just vacuumed the rug. Ha! <laughs> Things are really hard for me at home. My kids hate me. The first two kids I breastfeed. I have the only infant believings in the country. Ha! <laughs> Still, it doesn't turn me off. I'd like to have more kids. My biological clock is ticking. Of course, my womb is so stretched out. It's Big Ben. Ha! <laughs> Back to you! <laughs> Thank you, Denny. Well, there's a whole lot of weather coming up this weekend, and... Let's throw it over to Ryan at the weather map and see what's happening there. Ryan! Well, thank you, Greg. We've got quite a bit of cold weather in store next week. As you can tell by looking at our map, Oregon is on fire. <laughs> Oregon is on fire, and it's moving up to Washington State. Up to Washington, into British Columbia. Oregon's on fire. Oh, my God, I'm on fire! Someone help me up on fire! Put me out! Put me out! What am I gonna do? Someone's on fire! What am I gonna do? Oh, Back to you, Gray. That's all the time we have for tonight. We'll see you tomorrow. Stay tuned for When Vegetables Attack. Now, Colin, you're going to be the co-anchor. You're a 1920s gangster under fire in a getaway car. <laughs> Wayne, you're doing the sports. You are in love with the camera operator. <laughs> Boy, it's going to be so hard to decide. They're all so good looking, but you know. <laughs> good luck. And Ryan, you're doing the weather. You're trying to keep a leaking dam from bursting, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> if you know what I mean. 
So, uh, Brad, whenever you hear the music, go ahead and start the news. Good evening and welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm Clyde Strudel Pants. <laughs> well, the heat wave in Antarctica continues and people are shaving penguins left and right. We don't know when it's going to stop, but now this story has stopped and I must pass over the news desk to my good friend, Desmond Pettibone III. I ain't saying nothing, see? <laughs> nothing at all. Get him, the cops! <laughs> You'll never take me, you lousy coppers! <laughs> Back to you, you dirty, lousy punk. Thank you for that scintillating report. Well, it's been an exciting day in sports, so let's find out all the scores with hardwood paneling. Hardwood? <laughs> Folks, it's been a great day in sports, and uh, if I say so, I look great myself because someone knows my good side. <laughs> <laughs> so, the Raiders are in the news. The... <laughs> Who are you looking at? <laughs> you keep that camera on me. No, 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 no. You get this right. You love me, I love you. Oh, oh really? I... I could go out and find myself a handheld camera operator. <laughs> You. Let me tell you something, all right? I've been doing the sports forecast for 15 years. I'm the best thing that ever happened to you. You know where you were before you met me? You were doing little infomercials on Santa Monica Beach with a fat dude wearing blue blockers. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> Don't hide from... This just in, tomorrow we will have a new sportscaster. <laughs> and now I think we better find out what's going on in the weather, because it is hot as blazes out there. So let's check the weather desk with Harry Shower Drain. Harry! Hello! <laughs> Welcome in a hidey ho and a hidey hi ho to you. Hello to all my friends out there in Pomona, so you have to live there. Well, we've got some beautiful... <laughs> some beautiful weather in store for the weekend. We've got sun popping up all over the place that you can... Oh! Oh my... Well, we... Problem there, but the sun will be keep going to the end of the week. And, oh, there we go. <laughs> sun, 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 all through the week. <laughs> oh no, she's gonna blow. She's gonna blow. This just in, tomorrow we'll have another weatherman as well. That's all the time we have for the 6 o'clock news. Good night. Thank you very much. Uh, Greg, you're the co-anchor, you're a heckler. Sports is Wayne, you're a precocious, multi-talented child star. And Ryan, you're doing the weather, you're an angry NBA player about to get ejected. <laughs> so you're like Carmel. About to get what? <laughs> You're Carl Malone. <laughs> so, uh, whatever you're ready and whatever you hear the music, go ahead and start Colin. Hello! I'm Jackson Goodreader. And, and you suck! <laughs> boring! Boring! And welcome to the 6 o'clock news. Yawn! Unfortunately, everything happened at 3.48 today, so we have nothing to tell you. Over to you. Snore, snore. 
Nice haircut. Lose a bet? <laughs> nice top. You got the bottoms to those? <laughs> nice shirt. What's your average? <laughs> Chicks. You're all right. I was just helping you. No, I was just helping you. Go on. I'm going to help you. Go on. Go on. I'm going to help you. Thank you for that He's insightful just report. Is. Shut up. Yeah. And now over to sports <laughs> with Reginald, Reginald, Reginald. That's Reginald, Reginald, Reginald. It's French. <laughs> Today, all of the sports teams decided to get together and hold a little show. Starring me because everyone knows sports are fun. <laughs> because when the tennis players take a fall, John McEnroe likes to hit a ball. And so I'm doing this for my mom. <laughs> Well enough, but he was watch singing. the elbow. He was singing. And now over to the weather. Let's and see what's happening this week in weather. He was dancing, too. Yes. Uh, thanks. As you can see, we got a sunny weekend in store for the West Coast here. And moving on to the east over here, we got some rain. Oh, touch that cloud there a little bit. <laughs> touch it. What? What are you talking about? I barely touched the cloud. What are you, what are you, little man? What are you, big man? Are you a little man? Is that what it is? Oh, you're kicking me out? I don't think you're kicking me out. Oh, you are? That's fine. Okay, that's fine. I don't give a... Fine, 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 fine. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> well, that's the physical news. Join us tomorrow for more news and more news stories tonight. Colin, Wayne, and Ryan are going to help you out. Denny, your co-anchor is Colin, and you are desperate for attention. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, you're playing a guy who's desperate for attention. <laughs> uh, sports is Wayne. You're a karate black belt, and you're fending off attackers. <laughs> Ryan, you're doing the weather. You're a lifeguard who spots a woman drowning. So when you never hear the music, <laughs> off you go. Welcome to the 6 o'clock evening news. I'm your anchor. I'm your anchor, Mimi Fat Deposits. And moving on to our top story. For more of our top stories, let's move a quarter of an inch to my left to my co-anchor, Colin Mockery. This just in. Looking at balding men gives you good luck. <laughs> hey! All news is good news! All news is good news! Can you see me? Can you see me now? Can you see me? Can you see me? Can you see me? Can you see me? And now, moving on to find out what's happening in the world of sports, over to Wayne Brady at the sports desk, Wayne. Hmm, thank you very much. <laughs> In today's sports, it appears... No, I must not hurt you. And the women... <laughs> very well. Thank you. As you can see, we've, uh, we've got some sunny days in store for the weekend. We've got some high temperatures. Nope. 
Remain calm! Josie, you're the co-anchor. Your character's from Shakespeare. Uh, sports is Wayne. Wayne, you're on a treadmill that's going out of control. <laughs> Ryan, you're doing the weather. You're a baseball player who must hit a home run to win the World <clears throat> Series for the Cleveland Indians. <laughs> I threw that last part in there. I threw the Indians part in there. A uh, baseball player has hit a home run to win the World Series. So whenever you hear the music, Colin, go ahead. Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm your anchor, frankly, don't give a damn. <laughs> a large wooden object with a pointy end was found spinning in the downtown core. That's our top story. <laughs> and now, over to our co-anchor, Minnie Puzzle. Minnie? I thank you, now, sir. Today, a small baby giraffe was born in the Los Angeles Zoo. And oh, he did chide like thunder. His heart was smitten with his hay, nanny nanny no. Is this a newscaster I see before me? And now, let us wend our way off to this side for the sports. Thank you very much, my lady. Well, the best thing about most athletes today is that all of them do not mind at all getting in shape. Because, after all, it's what every person needs to do to keep in top fit form. Now, I'll be describing something... Back to you. <laughs> this just in. Donors are wanted for a man whose buttocks are blown off in an industrial accident. <laughs> Doctors report no end in sight. <laughs> and now it's time to go over to the weather with our weatherman, Dwayne the Bathtub. Dwayne. We got some clouds moving in on the weekend. Gonna make for a lot of mud. <laughs> Later on, we're gonna have some sunny days coming out from the west. <laughs> we're gonna have lots of days of sunshine. We're gonna have <laughs> one day of sunshine. We might even have <laughs> two days of sunshine. Sure as hell, we ain't gonna have.
that's the 6 o'clock news. See you tomorrow night. Till then, good night and good news. Yeah, Colin, you're the co-anchor. You have chosen just this moment to become a nudist. <laughs> On sports is Wayne. You're a Latin pop heartthrob. Yeah. I think you know. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan, you're the weatherman, and you're a mafia boss who realizes the camera is an assassin. <laughs> you're a mafia boss who realizes oh, his camera you. is an assassin. <laughs> <laughs> so, Brad, whenever you hear the music, go ahead and start. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to the 417 News. I'm Chester Steakknife. Today, monkeys broke out of the National Zoo and killed everyone in the nation. For further stories on this, please welcome Carl Turkey Baster. Carl! <laughs> I would just... I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I can't go through this pretense. Too often are people shackled by the conventions of clothes. <laughs> Nudity is where it's at, people. Feel free. You may want to pull back the camera. <laughs> Remember, whether you're from there or from there, all across this great nation, be nude. The 417 nudes. That's what we're going to be called from now on, ladies and gentlemen. Careful. <laughs> Thanks, Chester. Uh, <clears throat> and speaking of sports, well, it was hot as anything, wasn't it? Let's find out from Carlos Burrito Grande. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'll tell you all about the sports today. I'm living La Vida soccer. Those ladies, they won, and afterwards, they get me. Ah, uh, uh, too much sports is making me caliente. Maybe the whole team would like to come back to my a trailer. Back to you. I'm too busy enjoying myself. Ale, ale, ale. Oh, these damn seats are vinyl. Thank you very much, Brad. I've uh, actually forgot my pointer today. Would you mind? If you wouldn't mind, please. We've got some sun moving in over the western Washington area, coming down into Oregon over the weekend. Up in the Himalayas, we've got some sun coming in. You didn't think I saw you there? Is it me you're looking for? Who sent you? Did NBC send you? You can kill me, but your day will come too. the time we have on the 417 News. Some of us will be sleeping with the fishes. We hope you aren't. Good night, folks. And everybody else is going to help you out. Colin, you're the co-anchor. Colin has been injected with dinosaur DNA. Uh, Wayne, you're doing the sports, and you're going to be Jerry Lewis. And weather is Ryan. Ryan, you're doing the weather. You're a cornered criminal looking to take a hostage. So... Whenever you hear the music, Danny, go ahead and start the news.
Good evening. Our top story tonight, interestingly, is not about a top, but a dreidel. And now, moving on to my co-anchor for more <laughs> stories in the news, Colin Mockery. Colin. Thank you. Sorry, I was at the Dinosaur Institute today, and... Uh, <laughs> Thanks very much. As you can see, we got sunny days ahead. Good time to go out this weekend. But I'm not coming out. I'm not coming out! Why don't you come in and get me covers? Back off or the lizard gets it! You're the co-anchor. You're the bitter co-anchor, verbalizing your inner thoughts. Uh, Wayne, you're doing the sports. You're getting arrested. Uh, you know. <laughs> hey. And Ryan, you're doing the weather, and you're a sumo wrestler. So, Greg, whenever you hear the music, start the news. Good evening, everybody. I'm totally up for it. <laughs> and this is the action news. In our headlines, Ricky Martin accused of living a crazy life. <laughs> and Britney Spears claims that she's no longer yours. Colin? Oh, it's my turn, is it? Yes. Thanks. Why Thanks don't... for taking the top stories. I'm stuck with the dog story. The dog story is... Shut up! What? Oh, shut up! Just do it! Do it! Well, uh... Oh, so he doesn't. Th thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Colin. Those are certainly things we'll think about as the newscast goes on. Now let's throw it over to sports with Big Wayne. Wayne, what's on top for us, big boy? Well, it appears that this week in... Oh, crap. <laughs> That this week in sports, it's been another lockdown, and the uh, and the other um, the other teams are are going to. Uh, but but, but I, I'm doing newscast. Um, one second, Greg. Uh, look, I'm. I thought so. Now, it appears that the soccer team is... Oh, oh, hey, hey, and that's all for the sports today. It appears that I won't be able to do sports for a very, very long time. It'll be just me and Bubba doing sports together. Well, we, 
Look forward to hearing from you again in five to ten. <laughs> Colin, don't you think that'd be more appropriate after Colin, we... Colin, don't you think it'd be more appropriate after we did? <laughs> well, a, a kitten was saved from a tree today in Covina, and that brings us to weather with Ryan over at the Big Map. Ryan, what's in store for us this weekend? Well, thank you, Greg. Let's take a look at the weather. We've got some sunny days ahead on the weekend. Looks like it's going to clear up. Into the weekend, into the weekend. Into the weekend, it's going to clear up. It's going to clear up into the weekend. Clear the weekend. Clear the weekend up in the cold. Go, go, go. And back to you, Greg. Well, we'll be back at 11, but stay tuned next for America's Favorite Satanists. That's been the news. Good night. And Colin, you're the co-anchor. <laughs> Colin. I didn't have a chance to look at these for a show, sorry. Uh, Colin is in the Tour de France. <laughs> Wayne, you're doing the sports. You're about to disturb a beehive. Ryan, you're doing the weather. And you are fighting the inner urge to be a stripper. <laughs> so, uh, whenever you hear the music, go ahead and start. Good evening and welcome to the 6.30 News. I'm Chuck Flanksteak. <laughs> Tragedy struck the Teletubbies this week when, during a camping trip, Dipsy and Lala were mauled to death by bears. <laughs> And now, on a lighter note, the political desk, please welcome our political analyst, Harry Lambshanks. Harry? Bonjour! Tell us about the political desk. Yes, I'm telling you, it's so hard to catch my breath because it... Oh, damn hill! Oh, it's sacred blue and flat! Well, while you fix that tire, we'll go to the sports. Uh, well, before we get to the sports, how about a little treat, huh? Mmm, okay. It appears that the Oakland Raiders... Ow! Okay, <laughs> that's, that's great. It appears that the Oakland Raiders have, uh, have, have signed an agreement to... Mmm, mmm, that's good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. They saw. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Ow! I'm a red bear. I'm a red bear. Well, I guess we won't be seeing T-Bone at that Charlotte Hornets game. <laughs> Let's go find out what it's like in the weather, because boy, it is hot out there. Hot as the blazes. When will this heat wave ever end? And now let's check the weather desk with Chip Beef on toast. Thank you. As you can see, it's uh, it's hot. All over the Northwest. <laughs> All over the Northwest. And if we check, uh, if we check on down south here, it's getting a little down south here, a little bit different. We should expect some fog for the weekend, but the fog will be clearing up by Monday. The fog will be clearing up by Monday, and that's where it'll be going. And we've got some sunny breaks on the weekend. The weekend will be coming around. So, looking ahead to next week, next week should be just fine, and that's the way we should have it for next week. And getting back to you, and that's the way it is. <laughs> Thank you for that scintillating weather report, Chip. Stay tuned now for the Tinky Winky and Poe Show. Good night. <laughs> Yeah, Colin, you're the co-anchor. Mm -hmm. You're way too open about your personal problems. <laughs> oh, and it says here you're way too open about your personal problems. Isn't that a coincidence? Uh, uh, Wayne, you're going to be doing the sports. You were an overzealous woman at a church revival meeting. <laughs> and Ryan, you're doing the weather. You're an, ag <laughs> you're an aggressive barfly being repeatedly ejected from a bar. So... <laughs> You're me. So whenever you hear the music, go ahead and start the news. Great.
Good evening, I'm alarmingly huge. <laughs> and this is the action news. Nationwide law enforcement officials honor the Los Angeles Police Department with a congeniality award. And Arizona changes its state motto to, damn, it's hot. Colin? You know, recently I've gained five pounds. Do you think it's because I'm a cannibal? I don't. Oh, the boil. No. Speaking of round objects, let's throw it over to Wayne at the sports desk. Wayne. Woo! Sports! You better play some sports! Look at... That's right. Like it says, 1 Ephesians, John 18 through Zebekiah 29. He who runs the ball, catches the ball. It's good, amen, touchdown. Yes! That's what I said! That's what I said! How come you never oh. call anymore? Because you're the devil. I'll say about another time. <laughs> now, Colin, it's time to throw it over to the weather desk because we've got a big holiday weekend coming up. What's on store for us, Ryan? Thank you, Greg. Well, let's have a look at the weather in the week. It's going to be awful. It's going to be raining all weekend. But I can make it sunny for one more drink. I'm just asking for one more drink. That's all I'm asking for. We got clouds rolling in on Sunday. Oh, I can't smoke in here. Is that what you're saying? I can't. I hope I have the right suggestion. I've totally forgotten. Hey, let go of me. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, king. There's a board there. King. Hey, what the? King. Hey, I can't. King. Hey, why don't you? King. Oh, I'm going to faint now. I can't. I can't remember my... <laughs> oh, you're kicking me out, are you? Oh, you're kicking me out, are you? Why are you... Oh, you're kicking me out, are you? Oh, I'm not going that. Oh, okay. Hey, are you repeatedly kicking me out of here? What the? Oh, I'll be back. Oh, yeah. Taxi. Well, thank you for that report, Ryan. Well, I guess we'll 86 the clouds and ask for some sunshine, eh, Carl? Just ask. Woo! <laughs> and, uh,. Sunshine makes me break out in blisters. Sure. Big ones, like about Enough. this. Enough! That's oh, I'll get back all in. the. I see the <laughs> Good night. Good night. Welcome to play. Kathy, you're the co anchor. <laughs> you're Colin's spoiled, bad tempered teenage daughter. Sportscaster's Wayne, having trouble mastering his jetpack. Weatherman is Ryan, Ryan, you the weather. You're a lifer about to attempt daring and elaborate prison escape. Yes. So whenever you hear the music, Colin, start the news. Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm your anchor, Ollie Oxenfree. Our top story tonight. Famous TV dolphin Flipper was arrested today on prostitution ring charges. He allegedly was seen transporting two 16-year-olds across state lines for immoral purposes. <laughs> and now I'm very proud to turn the co-anchoring duties over to my lovely daughter, Janisa. <laughs> Janisa. Who cares what's going on in the world? What about me? You never pay any attention to me. <laughs> I'm on TV, aren't I? <laughs> well, this was an experiment that went awry. <laughs> and now over to our sports desk with Brick Brock. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Hello, citizens. Today, 
I shall be reporting the sports from high above our fair city. Skunk. No, 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 no. It appears that in the first game, <laughs> it's technology, folks. It's all right. <laughs> Warning. Oh, hell. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. I Don't, don't do that. I want one of those. Well, you can't get one. But I want one. Well, it's now time to go over to the weather with our happy weatherman, Sprinkly Days. Sprinkly. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, we've got some fog moving in, which should turn in quite handy. Quite handy indeed. <laughs> Later on in the week, we're going to have some weather coming up. Good night and good news. <laughs> Colin, you're the uh, co-anchor. You're a Puritan who is convinced that Greg is a witch. <laughs> sports is Wayne. Wayne, you're the sports. You're a knight looking to rescue a damsel in distress. <laughs> and Ryan is the weatherman. Ryan refuses to abandon his dream of performing in a Busby Berkeley musical. So whenever you hear the music, Greg, go ahead and start. Good evening. I'm great after dark. <laughs> this is the action news, and these are the headlines. Mississippi changes its official state motto to, hey, we're all named Bubba. <laughs> and President Clinton celebrates the first casual Friday at the White House by wearing leather chaps. <laughs> Colin? Thou dost not fool me, Beelzebub. Aye, I did see thee unbuckle the buckle on my hat. One of many pranks this heathen devil has done, and now he must go to heck. <laughs> the very heck from which he was spawned. Ooh, thou just make me say spawned. I did think of spawning. Oh, thou truly art the devil. Excuse my spit. <laughs> Thank you, Colin. That was incisive. And now let's throw it over to Wayne and see what's going on in the world of sports. Wayne, what's up? My lady. My lady. Be not scared, for I shall ride. Come, silver boat. <laughs> Clunk. Shklink. my lady, on the back of the horse. Quickly! Shaklom, shaklom. Ah! 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 What ah! the journey is this? The, the devil has stolen thy horse! I have failed thee! Shing! Well, there's always weather, isn't there? And let's throw it over to Ryan at the... Stop staring at me. Thou hast made me not able to blink! <laughs> well, maybe the... Maybe, maybe Ryan's got some humidity on tap that'll make those lids of yours close. Ryan, what's the weather look like? Well, let's go to the big weather board up here where we've got a lot of clouds moving in over the weekend. 
But by Monday, it should clear up, and we're going to have sunny days ahead. Sunny days ahead. We're on the dumb and sunny, sunny days ahead. Well, the sun and the sun. The sun and the days ahead for me. The sun and days ahead. 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 Sunny days. Back to you. That's all the time we have for the action news. Please stay tuned on this station for when vegetables attack. Good night, everyone. Greg, your co-anchor is Colin. Colin, you are a trigger-happy hunter. <laughs> Wayne, you're doing sports. You illustrate your report through dance. <laughs> and Ryan, you're doing the weather. You get your jacket caught in a moving ski lift. <laughs> That's what it says. Uh, whenever you hear the music, Greg, go ahead and start. Good evening, everyone. I'm Twice Nightly. <laughs> and this is the action news. These are the headlines. Insane cow tries moon jump. Dish and spoon still missing. <laughs> Colin? <laughs> Colin? Lava erupted today. <laughs> Do you hear a wabbit? Kill a wabbit! Kill a wabbit! <laughs> An anti wolf! Look at the anti wolf! Oh, I just created some havoc! S speaking of havoc, it's time for sports! Let's throw it over to Snunk Ninkley at the sports desk. <laughs> Snunk, what's on tap? Thank you very much, Twice. Well, it appears that the women have done it again. The women, <laughs> oh, they took it. They took the ball and they put it into the net. <laughs> they couldn't stop. No one can stop our team because the American team is the best. Lord knows that I can always use a good bunch of soccer players. That's incredible. Incredible! Well, that certainly was an interesting sports report, wasn't it, Colin? It was very, very interesting. <laughs> let's, let's find out what conditions are going to be like for people who are going on vacation and throw it over to Big Ryan Styles. Right! Well! Well, thank you twice, and I'm going to use two pointers today because we've got doubly good weather this afternoon. <laughs> we've got clouds moving in over the uh, Pacific Northwest later in the day. That'll uh, that'll clear things up. Oh, oh my God! Oh, seems to be caught. Can't quite. In the news, stay tuned for America's most hilarious amphibians coming up next. Ryan, that was great. I see your back's gotten better. <laughs> so, a thousand points to your chiropractor. Uh, your co anchor is Karen. Karen, you're playing a frisky granny. <laughs> It says here, Frisky Granny with a crush on Colin. Oh, all right. Wayne, you're doing the sports. You're an inept fireman called to an emergency. And Ryan, you're doing a weather. You're a matador in a bullfight. <laughs> so whenever you're ready, go ahead and start whenever you hear the music. Good evening. It's time for the 6 o'clock news. I'm your anchor, Les Miserable. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. 
All right, our top story today. According to a recent scientific report, men think about sex every six seconds. And because... <laughs> Mike Wallace. And now over to you. Hello there. I'm Francine Lee, and I love watching you talk. I want you to set me free. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 60, but I feel like a nubile teen. <laughs> You're kidding yourself. <laughs> and now, why don't we see what's happening in the world of sports? Winky. <laughs> you got it, Sparky. <laughs> Hello? I'm freaking out. And now, <laughs> over to the weather. Stormy, thank you very much. Well, it looks like we've got sunny weather all over the country, except for one place, Seattle, Washington. <laughs> which again, in Seattle, Washington, as you can see. We... Well, that reminds me, tomorrow we have an interview with Al Gore. That is the news. Six o'clock, see you tomorrow. Uh, your co-anchor is Chip. Chip, you're a high-energy game show host. So kind of the opposite of me. Uh, <laughs> Wayne, you're doing the sports. You're a sadistic marine drill sergeant. And Ryan, you're doing the weather. You get hit in the crotch with a football. So, Colin, whenever you hear the music, take it away. <laughs> Introducing Colin! <laughs> Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm your anchor, Colin Marines. And our top story today. Hollywood was saddened when Foghorn Leghorn died today at the age of 65. Memorial services will be held tomorrow, after which the deceased will be served with a nice orange sauce. <laughs> and now over to our co-anchor, Smiley Dick. <laughs> That's right, Colin, and you know the rules of the Parkour and Lakehorn game. By the end of the save your name, save you, but have for five points, and then she gets a battle bonus round, and you can save them five of the thousand dollars. <laughs> Well, it's time to go over to sports with Wink Winkly. <laughs> Wink. What are you looking at, boy? I'm about to talk to you about sports. Do you see anything worth laughing about? Am I funny to you? Do I have a jester's hat on top of my head? Do I have a name tag that says, hi, I'm damn funny? No, I don't, boy. What are you looking at? What are you looking at right now? You know what I'm talking to? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you, Marine. Stand up. Who are you looking at, boy? Stand up. Hook head, hook. You, you. Come on down here. Come on down here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hook head, hook. Stand over there, boy. Look at you. What are you looking at? Can't you see me? You ought to see me with those glasses. You ought to see the moon with those glasses, boy. Look at me. Look at, don't look at me. Look at him. <laughs> Where you from, boy? Where you from? Philadelphia. Where? Philadelphia what? Philadelphia, sir. Yes, Philadelphia. You in Philadelphia. The only thing that come out of Philadelphia is are steers and other forms of livestock. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. Do you hear me, boy? Go. <laughs> Carry on. 
I'm watching you. Don't I'll kick your ass. <laughs> this just in. Beverly Hills 90210, Cleveland Browns 3. <laughs> and now it's time to go over to weather with our happy weatherman, Happy. All righty. Well, we haven't got a lot of time, so we're going to make this quick. <laughs> I'd like to say hi ho to all my friends out there in Fresno and offer my... <laughs> Offer my condolences for having to live there. All right, let's check the weather. Well, we got some sun moving in over the weekend. Uh, we should have three days of very good... Well, that looks like a... And Brad, your co-anchor is Colin. Colin is the world's most tactless man. Oh, I'm sorry, and you're the world's most tactless man. Uh, you're playing it. Wayne! Come on, Drew. <laughs> you're doing the sports, and you are RuPaul, baby! All right! They finally found you out. And Ryan, you're doing the weather. Uh, you have uncontrollable, it says hots here, you have uncontrollable attraction to a different person every 10 seconds. <laughs> so Brad, whenever you hear the music, start the news. Hello and welcome to the six o'clock news. I'm Chester Moist Muffins. <laughs> Our top story tonight, rumors are speculating that Madeline Albright is actually a monkey. When asked to comment, she shimmied up a tree and flung poo at the press. <laughs> and now with the local news, here's Lionel Hot Biscuits. Lionel? Aye, there was a big accident. Some people got decapitated. Here are their names. <laughs> you know what? That shirt really makes you look fat. I mean, the color's all wrong. I mean, who shot the drapes? Thanks for that scintillating report. And now let's find out about the sports desk. Let's go over to Sizzling Bacon Pan. Sizzling? <laughs> Y'all children, quiet down now. There's a whole lot of RuPaul to go around for everybody. No, 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 children. It's true. Football players. Oh, my goodness. You better work. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, you cute, but that shirt has got to go, okay? Hey, you got a booger. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for that scintillating sports report. Tonight's sports report was sponsored by The Crying Game. And now, let's go over to the weather. Please welcome with the weather, Flaky Croissant. Flaky? Oh, thank you very much. We've got uh, a lot of sun coming in. Uh, should make things... Re make things really hot. Really, really hot. Plus, that's only till the, the rain moves in on Wednesday and then things are gonna get... wet. Things will get wet until Thursday. <laughs> Thursday to the third of And then, of course, Friday. The... Is that my reflection in the camera? <laughs> Hello, you. Towards the end of the week, we're getting... Who is that? 
también. This just in, I'm in love with the weatherman. Thanks for that scintillating report. Stay tuned for the 605 Flies news. Flies open. Right here. Can you get a close up on this? Go away. Colin, you're the anchor of a news show. Uh, Kathy, you're the co anchor. You're Colin's nagging, overbearing wife. <laughs> uh, Wayne, you're doing the sports. You are the munchkins from The Wizard of Oz. And Ryan is the weatherman, and Ryan's going to show us why he's known around the station as Mr. Sexual Harassment. <laughs> Man, where do we get these ideas? <laughs> so whenever we hear the music, Colin, take it away. Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm your anchor, Horst you rode in on. <laughs> Our top story tonight. <laughs> Disaster struck a ceiling fan convention tonight when the scheduled entertainment, Dr. Linguini and his trampolining sheep, hit the floor. According to one eyewitness, everything was fine until one extremely high bounce and then the sheep hit the fan. And now over to my lovely, lovely co-anchor, Sarah Bellum. Sarah. Why should I? tell you anything you don't listen to a word I say anyway oh dear, right? you just do what I ask you to do light bulbs aren't fixed the lawn is growing up weeds Je don't look at me that way oh that passive aggressive oh do I feel sorry for me that got me to marry you and what a loser I was to do it well thank you for that enlightening thank story thank you for nothing buddy thank you, thank you. And now over to sports with Abdullah Oblongata. <laughs> well, it's time for the sports today. It was incredible. That baseball game was going on the schedule when all of a sudden a big house came and killed the pitcher. <laughs> It was three to all. Oh, 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 the score was three to all. <laughs> Back to you, big guy. Thank you, Abdullah. This just in, helium prices up. Well, at least something is. Well, now it's time for the weather. Let's go see what's happening this week in the weather with Lee Beedo. Lee, weather. Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> well, let's take a look at the weather. As you can see, we've got a huge cold front coming up from the south and two little cold fronts on the east. Here. Things are gonna get really, really hot. Oh, okay. Then we got two cold fronts moving in from the west here. The center's being the tropical part right here. So later on in the week, things are gonna get a little wet, really moist, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> about it. I will as soon as I... Uh... Little weak, little loser of a... You're pathetic. <laughs> An embarrassment. Oops, drop my pointer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's all the news we have. Join us tomorrow for the 6 o'clock news. Good night. Your co-anchor is Colin. Colin, you're a frat boy cruising in a car with your buddies. <laughs> Uh, Wayne, you're doing the sports. You are a Miss Fitness USA pageant contestant. And Ryan, in an effort to keep you strange, you are an Inca high priest who must sacrifice a virgin. And uh, let me remind you, if you come near my desk, I'll kill you. <laughs> so whenever you hear the music, take it away, Greg.
Good evening. Welcome to the Action News. I'm enormously gifted. <laughs> and these are the headlines. Elvis Presley found working at Doug's Snack and Bowl in Dothan, Alabama. <laughs> and a tragic fudge accident takes the lives of the Keebler elves. <laughs> Biff? Fudge! 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 <laughs> This just in, underage drinking is bad. <laughs> and speaking of bad, ain't no one better than our sports person, Wayne Brady. Wayne, what's going on over at the sports desk? Today, I'll be delivering the sports, but just not any sports. Sports to each and every girl across America who refuses to sit on her butt and who wants to do something with herself. Like me. You can do this just like me. It's okay. It's all right. You can do it just like me. Are you ready? Go. Woo! Let's go. Woo! Let's go. I feel it. I feel it. To the right. To the right. And you can't stop me now. No, you can't stop me now. No, you can't stop me now. Thank you. Woo, 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 woo. Wow, she's ugly, but look at that body. <laughs> yeah. Let's throw it over to the High Priest of Weather, Ryan Stiles. Ryan, what's on tap? Thank you very much, Greg. <laughs> Friday, we have rain moving in. Saturday, volcanic eruptions that will destroy the Earth. <laughs> Unless we make a sacrifice to the God of a virgin! Just in, virginity abolished in Southern California. <laughs> That's been the news. Stay tuned for when desserts attack after this. Good night. Brad, you're the anchor of a new show. Colin, you're the co-anchor. You panic over the slightest thing. <laughs> Wayne, you're doing the sports. You're Spanish TV's crocodile hunter. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes. And, uh, Ryan, you're doing the weather. And you're a mercenary. And you're on a mission to replace everyone else on the show. <laughs> I'm a mercenary, and I want to replace everybody else on the show. Right. That's what you want to do. That's your mission. So, oh, am I a missionary or am I a mercenary? <laughs> You're a mercenary who likes missionary. <laughs> so whenever you hear the music, Brad, take it away and let's go to the news. Welcome to the 6 p.m. news. I'm Skip Shapley. Tonight's biggest story, financial analysts have figured out a way to take out a second mortgage on your home so that you can afford a full tank of gas. <laughs> and now... With the business desk, please welcome Baldy Flapscalp. <laughs> what do you mean, Baldy? What do you mean, Baldy? Oh my God! <laughs> what did that happen? Oh my God. Turn the camera away. 
Nope. What are you doing? Thanks for that illuminating report, Baldy. <laughs> Let's find out about sports. Let's go over to the sports desk with Ricardo Balbone Montez de la Vasquez Asaloca. <laughs> Buenas tardes, señores y señoritas. ¿E dónde puede? Es... Oh. Ay, mamá. Es un... Es... Oh. Oh, sí, 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 un alligator. Oh, sí, mi saliva, un muy grande. Eh, ¿dónde es alligator? Ajá. Para eso tiene que tener alligator, un muy grande. Ay, negro. Ah, no, 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 no. Sí, sí. Eh, eh, mira. No, 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 sí. Uno no es puerto, uno rojo, uno acá. Oh, sí, te va a ser, papá. Thank you, Ricardo. Well, I hope that's covered under medical insurance. <laughs> Let's find out about the weather. Let's go over to the weather desk with Misty Showers. Misty. Well, thank you. As you can see, we have a hot, hot, hot weekend in store here. Uh, I've made us all some lemonade. It's going to be so hot. Ah! Uh, we've got uh, we got some clouds moving in over the weekend. Some clouds moving, ting, over the weekend. Should be here probably around Thursday. <laughs> And of course, uh, with the warm weather here, always a good chance for you to enjoy your favorite meal, whether it be uh, pizza, or I enjoy always having pizza. Local news program. Uh, no, Colin. I'm not. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. Colin, you're the co anchor. You're a talking parrot. <laughs> Wayne Brady's doing the sports. You're an aggressive old drunk who used to do the sports. Yeah, and? <laughs> yeah, I know. Weatherman is Ryan. Uh, <laughs> Ryan, you are your favorite performers, Siegfried and Roy. <laughs> <laughs> And you're in the middle of your act, which is going dangerously wrong. <laughs> so whenever you hear the music, Greg, take it away. Good evening. Welcome to the Action News. I'm sick of Survivor. <laughs> These are the headlines. Psychic convention canceled due to unforeseen circumstances. <laughs> Now it can be revealed, Shakespeare's plays were written by a neighbor named Skip. You don't know him. You don't know him. You don't know him. Ah! 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 I'm a daddy. Would you like a cracker? There's a cracker. That's a good co-anchor. Now it's time to throw it over to our sports desk with Wayne. Wayne, what do we have in store for us this weekend? And today's sports... <laughs> it appears that the, 
the bucket, the 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 bucket, the buckets of chicken. <laughs> I'ma turn your little squawky ass into chicken. <laughs> I, 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 I was just want to use this. I just want to use a second to pontificate <laughs> because the sports, uh, sports are not what they used to be. I, I was the one to. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so have respect. That's all. I'm, that's all I'm saying. If, if you have feet, <laughs> back to you. I'm okay. I'm a part-time stuntman. <laughs> this just in, the state of Texas officially changes its name to Y'all Ain't Squat. Uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Well, if there's one good turn, it deserves another, and it's time to turn to weather. Let's find out if the skies are going to be cloudy or sunny. What's going on over there, Ryan? Ryan? Who are you calling Ryan? I am the great Roy! We have a spectacular weekend in store, isn't that right, Siegfried? Yes! Yes, yes! We'll have rain, but in the summer, we'll be back. Back! Ah! Oh my God, what's happened to you? Back, back, I must. The lions come after us. I know, what shall we do? Give them something else. I, uh. ah. Back to you. Thank, thank you, and it didn't even cost $75. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have for the news tonight. Tonight on Nightline, Ted Koppel's special guest, Satan, the Lord of Darkness. That's all the time we have. Good night. <laughs> Chip, you're the co-anchor. You're a super dude looking for the ultimate ride. Probably they mean wave, but I don't know. Uh, Sports is Wayne. You're being sucked into a black hole in the camera. <laughs> Ryan, you're doing the weather. You're a shipwrecked survivor spotting a possible rescue plane. <laughs> hey. Would you rather be sucked into a black hole in the camera? We'll talk about that later. Okay. <laughs> Colin, uh, whenever you hear the music, whenever you hear the music, go ahead and get it started. It's the six o'clock news. I'm your anchor, Lars Lars Pants on Fars. <laughs> Today, a man who had been swallowed by a whale... A man who had been swallowed by a whale escaped today by running as hard as he could till he was all pooped out. And now, over to my anchor, Dude McFarland. Yo, dude, Lars, Lars, look, man, I've been looking... Opposite. I was at Zoom and I was in Huntington. There's nothing. If you're watching out there and you've got some pipeline or some tail or something, you'll call me, right? Later, right? <laughs> hey, I can hear the ocean. <laughs> Why don't we go over to sports with Bubba Dubba? <laughs> Hobby Dobby, right now. <laughs> about sports. It appears that the Browns, they've made an astonishing, they've made an astonishing run of things, especially since we've all started recently. Um, is this really, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Um, um, it appears that, that football today, oh, oh, oh. That in football today, the Browns and the Cleveland, oh, oh, oh. 
I wish I had a nickel for every time that happened. <laughs> here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, dude, here it comes! Second, now let's see what the weekend's weather is going to be like with Stormy Cumulus. Well, we've had three days of rain, so we've had a lot of water, a lot of water. Uh, uh, uh. It's a plane. It's out here. Let's go. By the weekend, because we've got clouds coming in over Sunday. Yeah. Hey, dude. Yeah. 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 Help! 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 Uh. o'clock news till tomorrow. Good news and goodbye. Colin is going to be the anchor of a new show. Chip, you're the co-anchor. You're a young cowboy rodeo star. Sports, you're doing Wayne. Wayne, you are the entire United States synchronized swimming team. Uh, Ryan, you're doing the weather. Ryan, you're rapidly descending the evolutionary scale. Uh, so, whenever you're ready, Colin... I never hear the music start the news. Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm your anchor, Puffy Don't Need Combs. <laughs> Our top story today. <laughs> An entire cult of dead killer bees were found dead. They are thought to have committed insecticide. And now, over to our co-anchor, Dewey Donty. Dewey. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, okay. Go! Nail, nail, nail! And now over to sports with our sports anchor, Juan Tonamera. Juan. Hello. Today in sports, all the football teams are going to make it kink. A big splash. Back to you. This just in, it's still not really a sport. <laughs> and now. Keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. And now over to weather with our weatherman, Dippy Deloo. Dippy. Well, thank you very much, Colin. As you can see, we've got uh, rain coming in for the uh, for the uh, uh, the weekend, and the clouds will be going away, and they'll all be.
You each get a thousand points. Let's go on the party course. All right, I'll just leave. That was, uh, that was Ringley Brothers. They want their shoes back. Oh, all right. <laughs> Emmett can't go on without his shoes. <laughs> Emmett. All right, just to be a big man, a thousand points apiece. <laughs> I can take it. Doesn't bother me. Tall, big nose, freak you. <laughs> so help you out. Kathy, you're the co-anchor. You're a trailer trash woman telling her ex-husband at home what a great lover Colin is. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wayne, you're doing the sports. You're a nerdy, nearsighted teenager playing his first game of spin the bottle. Ryan, you're doing the weather. You're John Wayne. And you think the studio is coming under attack. Whenever you hear the music, Colin, take it away. Let's hear the news. Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm your anchor, Pierre, because my bladder's empty. <laughs> Our top story tonight. NASA sends probe to Uranus. People everywhere giggle. <laughs> now over to my lovely co-anka, Lubel. Thank you so much. Newsflash, I'm getting some. <laughs> Finally. Oh, man, I can't make no bones about this because I'm going to tell you, buddy, that's his name, eh? Buddy? Buddy, I found the man. It might not have a lot at top, but oh, my gosh, makes up for it down below. Let me tell you. You make me happy. You make me happy in the sack. I'm sack happy. Sack happy. <laughs> I'm as drunk as a skunk. Well, thank you for that reminder. There is truth in advertising. And now, why don't we go over to sports and see what's happening there? Winky! Hi. Um, thanks for inviting me out to do the sports. Um, I, 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 <laughs> no, um, look, this is my first time doing this, and I, I'm really excited. And I, I would understand if you wanted to back out because no one's ever played spin the bottle with me before. And um, I'm really glad that you said yeah. Okay, me first. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be my first time kissing a beautiful girl. Thank you very much, Urkel. And now, <laughs> let's go over and see what's happening in the world of weather with John Wayne. Well, thank you very much, Colin. <laughs> we got a beautiful weekend in store. <laughs> As you can see, we're <laughs> Indians. Indians. <laughs> easy boy, easy boy, down boy, easy. Easy boy! I can't get up on my horse! Circle the cameras! Circle the cameras!
Back to you, Colin. Can't get up on my horse anymore. Well, that's the 6 o'clock news. Join us tomorrow. Are we on for tonight? Let's have sex now. Film at 11. <laughs> See you tomorrow, same time, same news. <laughs> Everybody else is going to join in. Colin, yes. you're going to be the co-anchor. You're a streaker who has bet his friends. <laughs> his what? Uh, you're a streaker who has bet his friends that he can get in all the camera shots. <laughs> Wayne, you're the sportscaster. You're an Italian stud who would rather be picking up women. <laughs> Ryan, you are running all the legs of the Olympic 4x100 meter relay. So, uh, whenever you hear the music, start the news. Good evening. I'm all that and a bag of chips. <laughs> and this is the action news. Kathy Lee Gifford, still unemployed. <laughs> and Britney Spears makes a mistake. Oops, she did it again. Colin? <laughs> Lots of news happening here. <laughs> Back to you. Back to you. <laughs> Thank goodness we had time for that short feature. <laughs> well, we've got a big weekend of sports and Wayne's over at the sports desk. What's happening there, Wayno? Grazie, grazie. This is a, um, how you say, I have no time for the sports, except the sports of a love. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm out and I'm running with the bulls, if you know what I mean, I see a woman, a beautiful woman, such a, excuse senor. You look like the most beautiful thing I ever seen. You were drinking a wine. That is the drink of lovers. Please, may I, what the hell is It's an Italian sausage. <laughs> I'll be back for you. But before I go, just one kiss. is a woman, and that is just wrong. <laughs> go away, go away! Grazie bene, Wayne. Like all Italian guys, you have strange taste in women. <laughs> and I wouldn't say that's an Italian sausage, more like a Vienna sausage. We have a lot. <laughs> well, you know, they say everybody talks about it, but no one does anything about it. But that's not what our weatherman does. He does everything about it. Ryan, what's the weather going to be like? Well, tell you, Greg, uh, it's sunny right now, but over the weekend, we, we're going to have some clouds moving in. A little bit of rain forecast in our future. Disaster averted during the baton pass there. <laughs> That's all the time we have for the action news tonight. Stay tuned for Geppetto 2, where Geppetto moves in with a, and a grown man that he's created. <laughs> That's all the news we have. Good night.
Colin is the anchor man of a news program. Chip, you're the co-anchor, and you are a singing Italian gondolier <laughs> whose boat springs a leak. <laughs> Wayne, you're doing the sports. You're an excited Japanese tourist. <laughs> Ryan, you're doing the weather. <laughs> you're a uh, Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> You're uh, Bigfoot caught on camera and desperate to escape being filmed. <laughs> so whenever you hear the music, let's go to you for the news. Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm your anchor, Gay Apparel. <laughs> Our top story tonight. 95-year-old Fred Scapizzi was found not guilty today of sexual harassment. The 95-year-old, however, was arraigned on charges of assault with a dead weapon. <laughs> and now our word to our co-anchor, Giuseppe Giuseppe. Giuseppe. Fred Scapizzi, no trabajo, como dormi, tanto ta... Oh, oh. Mi son de Flandes, Eve. Me Flandes. Oh well. And now. Over to sports with our sports anchor, Yakimito, Yakimito, Yakimito Jones. Konnichiwa! Oh, Drukkari! Drukkari! Oh, Kenzo Mace! The Inzana! Oh, the Inzana! Oh, the Inzana! Oh, the Inzana! <laughs> this just in, we're all just people. <laughs> and now, over to our weatherman, Toulouse around the waist. Toulouse! and join us tomorrow for the 6 o'clock news. Good night. Are you all done? <laughs> Thousand points apiece, and uh, hey, why do they call you Bigfoot? <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear you. Your shoes are too loud. <laughs>doing the sports you are outraged you're an outraged secretary desperate to find out who left a photocopy of their butt in her entree <laughs> when i say entree i mean the thing that sits on your desk oh. ryan you're doing the weather you're about to die and your whole life flashes before your eyes how appropriate <laughs> take it away whenever you hear the music colin 
Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm your anchor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. <laughs> Get down on your knees. Huh? You gelatinous, spineless, worthless piece of garbage. Who's a bad boy? I'm a dirty anchor. Uh, I'm a dirty anchor. Who says the bad words on the news? I said the bad words, madam. <laughs> Not good enough, worm! Slop! Oh! More, more, ma'am, sir! <laughs> Can't make up your mind, eh? Oh! 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 Hey, I'm trying to cut down! <laughs> you make me sick! Now, sports! <laughs> Thank you all for watching the program. Um, before I uh, go on and tell you folks about the sports tonight, um, I just have a little question. Last night we had a little party and everything was great and folks came and it was nice, it was nice. But, um, what the hell is this? Okay, when I took this job, I, I took this job because I thought this was a nice, decent company. I didn't come in and see nobody booty all over this paper. I come in here, I got the Johnson account to worry about. I put it out, ooh, crack. No, somebody is paying for this. If I have to go through every employee in this company. Get up. Get up right now. No, no, you heard me. Oh, no, you heard. No, you looking at me. You, you look. Excuse me. You need to get, excuse me, stand up, please. Stand up and turn around. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it right there? It's hard. Cause you, oh no, you will get fired. You will get fired. Oh. I'm watching you. <laughs> Back to you. Sports is over. What are you going to say now? Oh, it hurts so good. Yes. Over the weather. Now let's, let's make the weather quick. Not that I really care about the five-day forecast. <laughs> Got rain coming in. I remember the first time I saw rain. What a life it's been. Push! Push! Push. Ah, ah, ah. Would you like to come to the prawn with me? What are we fighting for Grenada for? I don't even want this country! Oh, we'll do another hoedown. This makes 300 now. I don't know how to do it either, man. There's on the ground. Here, another hoedown. It's coming out of my head. Before I do another, I'd rather be dead. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Lick that stool. Lick that stool clean. Lick it clean. That's right. Well, that's all the news we have for today. Tomorrow, same time, same news. Good night. Colin, you're the co-anchor, and you're a psycho hitchhiker getting a ride with the anchor. <laughs> with Brad. With Wayne, you're doing the sports. You are a very enthusiastic bikini car wash girl <laughs> looking for shiny surfaces to clean. <laughs> Ryan, you're doing the weather. You're Hollywood's most demanding temperamental star <laughs> trying to give an award-winning performance. So whenever you hear the music, take it away. Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm Frozen Underpants. <laughs> Here with the news desk for business and current affairs, please welcome Frosty Chatterbucks. Frosty! I want to thank you for picking me up. I was ran into a little bit of trouble back there in town. I, 
Don't mind if I have my satchel here. Don't look inside the satchel. Don't. Oh, look at the way the bugs hit the windscreen. Just, just do the noose. Kill it. I love the money, 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 money. You look pretty as a blonde. Well, thanks for that uncomfortable report. Let's find out what's happening in sports. Here with the sports, Nippy Frostbite. Nippy! I'm sorry. I was just so busy cleaning, because cleaning is my life. I love to scrub and scrub. Oh, my God. Excuse me. Five dollars, mister. <laughs> one of all. It's the holy grail of shiny surfaces. Back to you. Well, that Sure was a close game. <laughs> now here with the weather is brisk ice cube pants. There is no sun in Los Angeles. Today. The rain keeps coming down and down. When will it stop? I'm just a weatherman. I wasn't ready to play God today. <laughs> How many days of rain will it be? Three, five, seven. Sometimes it seems like it'll never stop. The rain drips like the perspiration down my lip, down my throat, and to the milky white countenance of my chest. And it will get much worse. For towards the end of the week, there will be a tornado sweeping me away. We'll be back in five minutes with the next news report. Good night. Colin's going to be the anchor man of a local news show. Greg, you're the co-anchor. You're a German insult comic. <laughs> Aren't they all? Uh, Wayne, you're doing the sports. You're a Girl Scout selling cookies. <laughs> Who's possessed by the devil. Ryan's going to be playing himself. He's doing the weather. He's an old man who takes an extremely short-acting rejuvenation pill. <laughs> so whenever you hear the music, Colin, take it away. Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm your anchor, Tito Through the Tulips. <laughs> Our top story tonight. A man is still in critical condition after swallowing $250,000 in large bills. No change is expected. <laughs> and now let's see what's happening elsewhere in the world. I bet you'd like to know what's happening elsewhere in the world. But I'm afraid you can't because you don't have enough hair to sink this. <laughs> oh, maybe that's making a point. Like the one you have on your head. <laughs> and it reminds me of the time I invaded Poland. Like, I'm gonna help you. You can't help. You're helpless. Look at you. <laughs> I will dominate you! <laughs> You've yet to win a war. All right. And yet, and yet you drive a BMW. <laughs> 
Vivon. La 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 la. Well, now it's time to go over to sports with little Susie Sue. Hi. Thanks a lot. In today's sports, everyone's buying my cookies because it makes you a better football player. I've got peanut butter and I've got chocolate and I have. For far too long, you have resisted the pleasures of the peanut butter peppermint cookie. <laughs> but now that shall end, my reign shall encompass all of the world, and everyone shall enjoy the cookie. And he who does not enjoy the cookie shall have the infernal cookie forced down his throat, and I shall earn my merit badge for damnation! <laughs> mentioned you are ugly. Yes, you have. <laughs> Stick around. I'm here all night. <laughs> well, now it's time to see what... Tuesday's wet t-shirt night. <laughs> now it's time to go and see what's happening in the weekend. Won't that be delightful? <laughs> uh, weekend weather with our weatherman, Jerry Atrick. Jerry. <laughs> You. Oh, I didn't hear you, I'm sorry. Well, let's go have a look at the board. I don't need to go to the board. I can feel it in my knees. It's gonna rain tomorrow. And then it's gonna get sunny. I can feel that in my butt. I know. Time for my pill. Ah, and then next week we're expecting some clouds to roll in. And, well, then it's going to be quite clear and the weather will be... Listen to my voice. I'm young again. Oh. Ah. Ah. Look at me! Look at me! Look at me! I'm young again! Ah, the world smells so good! It no, 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 no! Don't go away. Come back to me, no, no, no. I've fallen and I can't get up. Well, that's all the news we have. Join us again tomorrow, same time, same place. Thank you. Greg Wayne and Ryan. Uh, Greg, you're the co-anchor. You're a politician filming a smear campaign ad against his opponent, Drew. <laughs> Wayne, you're doing the sports. You're a fret boy doing a series of outrageous dares to impress your drinking buddies in the front row. Uh, Ryan, you're doing the weather. You're the rise and fall of a 1940s boxer. So, Colin, whenever you hear the music, give us the news. Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm your anchor, Curtis Interruptus. <laughs> Our top story. Disaster at the Los Angeles Zoo today when the snake pit was accidentally filled in. Said the zoo director, it's terrible, terrible news. Now the snakes don't even have a pit to hiss in. <laughs> and now let's go over to my co-anchor, Randy Always. Randy. Thank you, my distinguished colleague. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for letting me have your time tonight. As you know, my opponent, Drew Carey, lives in a house made entirely of chocolate, <laughs> where he invites children to slide down the chocolate into a pool filled with nothing but gelatinous fluid. <laughs> he also is known to wear underwear outside of his clothing so that he knows when to change it. Now, I'm not saying... This makes him a bad person. I'm only saying, would you trust him to ride a bicycle down your street yelling, oh, no, 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 like he does? <laughs> Thank you. 
Now let's throw it over to Wayne at the sports desk. What's up, bro? Thank you very much. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> um, in the sports, we just kicked um uh, the other school's butts. <laughs> yes! And now it's time to do what any self-respecting journalist would. Just drink it on down, baby! <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna get you, dude. I'm gonna get you. Okay, okay, me first. Got a whole, whole bucket full of this candy. I, yeah! Yeah! I'm gonna stuff it all in my mouth, bro! With Rocky Dooley, Rocky. Colin, your call anchor is Chip. Chip, you're a 1950s teen rebel biker. <laughs> yeah, lucky you look. <laughs> Wayne, you're doing the sports. You're a harem girl sent in to entertain the Sultan. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ryan, you're doing the weather. Uh, it's your last day, and you want to go out in a blaze of glory. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> so go ahead and take it away whenever you hear the music. Colin. Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm Thor, but not complaining. <laughs> <laughs> and now over to our new cow anchor, whose name escapes me for the moment. <laughs> Man, you are Squaresville. You looking at my hog? Don't look at my hog. Or my motorcycle. You got me, you watch it, capiche? Okay, daddy-o, take it away. And now, let's go over to sports with someone else whose name I forget. <laughs> I have come to do the sports dance for you. Today, football. Tomorrow, sucker. <laughs> One day I shall hunt you down and kill you like the dog you are. Mm. I shall never dance for you and do the dance of the seven sports teams again. You can't make mm. you help me. It's me, baby. Let's go. Let's get out of here. <laughs>
Here's a tip. Really look under the veil. And now... Let's go over to weather with our happy weatherman, Sunny Skies. Sunny? Well, as you know, this is my last forecast. I'd like to give you the weather for the next 50 years. Sun in LA, rain in Seattle. I want to say how much I've enjoyed doing the weather here all these years. Anchorman of a local news show. You're the anchor man, anchor man of the local news. Uh, the co-anchor is Chip. Chip, you are Snagglepuss. <clears throat> <laughs> Wayne, you do the sports. Uh, Wayne spots his next door neighbor peeping on him and decides to put on a little show. What's on the cart? <laughs> weather, uh, weather man is Ryan. Ryan, you are, are the. <laughs> Rise and fall of a female Hollywood legend of the silver screen. <laughs> <laughs> Says here, Jack quotes, rise and fall of a female Hollywood legend of the silver screen. Yeah. It's going to take a while. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever you hear the music, Colin, go ahead and take it away. Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm your anchor, Keith, my pithy white butt. <laughs> Top story today. <laughs> Noted archaeologist Fred Flintstein made an amazing discovery today in Sweden. On a windswept fjord, he came across some primitive musical instruments plus some minuscule deposits of fossilized stool. When asked what the stool could be, Flintstein replied, a dabba abba do. Now let's see what's happening in the rest of the world with my co-anchor, Snagglepuss. Heavens to Murgatroyd. Thanks. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's quite a story. It was due. Abba, even. <sighs> it's cold in here, freezing. Exit, stage left. <laughs> We are equal opportunity employees. <laughs> and now... Well, you I'm bad. Oh, good. <laughs> and now, over to sports. What's happening in the world of sports with Wiki? Wiki! Wiki, Wiki, shut up! <laughs> I'd like to talk to you folks about the wild world of... And today, the, the, the Browns... Are... Oh, so you want to spy on Wiki? <laughs> it, today, the Browns didn't understand that, that a good defense would be the best offense. <laughs> yeah. You like that, huh? If they would only pass the ball, then they could run. Yeah. It's, it's only because they don't have a quarterback that can do the job. Tell you later. Hey, 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 hey. 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 That's right, close your window. Uh, back to you. Oh. Back to you. This just in because of cold, you may experience a blue moon. For more weather, let's head over to our weather person, Norman Desmond. Norman. Thank you very much. As you can see, we have sunny days ahead, although nobody's gonna notice me with all these girls. <laughs> me? The producer wants to see me? Why me? I can't understand it. Me? My first role? I don't believe it. Oh, Billy, you've 
got to go. Can't you see I'm no good for you? I'd like to thank all the people who made this award possible. What do you mean they want me to audition? Don't these three Academy Awards mean anything? No more metal cameras! I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Carey. <laughs> the 6 o'clock news. Join us tomorrow for more news here. <laughs> that was sad. Touching even. Thank you for the local news show. Uh, Chip, you're the co-anchor on the local news show, and uh, you're going to be the lion from the Wizard of Oz. But instead of uh, the wizard giving you courage, he gave you an overactive libido. <laughs> Wayne, you're doing the sports. You're a desperate caveman. You're going to be looking for food, a warm cave, and a mate. Uh, Ryan, you're doing the weather. You, uh, you become extremely nervous when you suddenly discover it's the first day of Ryan hunting season. Whenever you hear the music, start the news. Colin. Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm your anchor, Lars of the Red Hot Lovers. <laughs> Our top story today. The Great Flydini, the Shrekman Circus human cannonball for the last 50 years, retired yesterday. When asked if he was going to be replaced, the circus owner said, no, it's hard to find a man of that caliber. And now let's go over to our new co-anchor, the Cowardly Lion. Cowardly. Thank you, Lars. Oh. <laughs> look at this place. Just look at it. It's so... It's so d wow. <laughs> you know Dorothy, but you'll do. <laughs> put it up. Put it up. Come on. <laughs> Exit stage right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, taken. <laughs> All right, then let's see what's happening in the world of sports with Oog. Oog. Uh, 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 rocks fall from sky. Uh, uh. Must find pretty, pretty woman. Uh, uh, uh. Pretty woman. Pretty woman. <laughs> I'll give you a bath. <laughs> well, let's see what's happening in the world of weather. Ryan. Well, thank you very much, Colin. We've got rain, rain, rain. Rain till Thursday when... God, it's Ryan hunting season. Hey, you guys got to... Got to be someone else. I'm afraid you boys have the wrong person. <laughs> That's right, the wrong guy. Uh, better luck next year. Uh, damn, it's not working. Although I sound, I must. Oh. <laughs> What's your name, bud? Matt. A thousand points to you, Matt. <laughs> Kathy, you're the co-anchor. Kathy, you're going to be a uh, guest on Jerry Springer. <laughs> and you've been brought out to reveal your shocking secret to husband Colin. 
Wayne, you're a world famous fashion designer, training your new models how to work the catwalk. <laughs> yeah, I am. And Ryan, you're doing the weather. You're, uh. <laughs> Come near me and I'll kill you, I swear. You're using everyone else's bodies as a weather map. So, don't come near me when you hear the music. Take it away, Colin. Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm your anchor, Noah. She's having my baby. The top story today. A scientist today admitted that he paid a prostitute over $1,000 to take a special chemical compound with some sparkling water in attempts to increase her IQ by over 80 points. The experiment failed, however, which proves you can lead a whore to water, but you can't make her think. Well, why don't we head over to our beautiful co-host, my wife, Tipsy. Tipsy? Thank you, Noah. Um, I didn't want to tell you this in such a public forum, but I have to get it out of my system. Um, remember when we married and I told you that I used to be, um, a bunny? I, I didn't mean a Playboy bunny, um... <laughs> my... Hey, listen! My mother was a rabbit, okay? It's not my fault! Jerry, I'm different! Jerry, 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 Jerry. <laughs> Maybe I can finally keep my hair. Today, the issue is not so much exactly how the guys are playing on the football field, but how they are looking as they are playing, okay? So I have gone outside, and I have myself some beautiful models. Come with me, Pepe, Federico, Marzipan, Chablis. Come with me. Let's model this. You got to walk, walk. Look, look, walk. Now walk, walk. Look, look, walk. Walk, walk, do not walk. Everybody move. Body move. That's it, move. Move. Everyone walk. Move. Move. That's it. Move. Everybody move. That's it. Move. Go. 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 Yes. Yes. That's right, baby. Touchdown. Touchdown. This just in, you can pretty much get an audience to do anything. <laughs> now, why don't we see what's happening in the world of weather with our happy weatherman, Scattered Showers. Scattered. Well, thank you, Colin. Let's make it quick. We have a busy, busy weather day tomorrow. We got some cloud cover coming in over the mountains. <laughs> Heading into the foothills tomorrow, into the foothills tomorrow night. We're going to see a full moon out for the first time. Full moon out tomorrow. And tomorrow, visibility will be low. And for you boaters, we've got a small craft warning. So, back to you, Colin. Well, that's the 6 o'clock news. See you tomorrow, same time, same news. Good night. What's the weather like at the unemployment office? <laughs> hey, Colin, what was your name at the top of that? Noah, she's having my baby. Noah, she's having my... Oh, no. Noah, she's Noah, having... Noah, she's having my baby. Oh, I didn't get it at first. <laughs> you weren't alone. <laughs> I hated to ask, but we were all wondering. <laughs> you know, my stuff... A lot of it's cerebral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The kind of cerebral you pour milk on. <laughs> now, let's... <laughs> Colin is the anchor of a local news show. Uh, Kathy, you're the co-anchor. You're a... No offense, it's just what it says on the card. You're a hideous old crone. <laughs> coming on to all the men. Wayne, you're doing the sports. Your body is being controlled by a prankster in the audience. It is. Good luck, yeah, and uh, Ryan, you're a high-tech thief on a mission to steal the amazingly lifelike Kathy Greenwood statue. 
<laughs> so whenever you hear the music, go ahead, Colin, and start the show. Start the news. Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm your anchor. Then you're going to pay me back that 10 bucks. <laughs> Our top story today. Rock star Prince has changed his name once again. After changing long-distance carriers, Prince, the artist formerly known as the artist formerly known as Prince, will now be known as the artist who formerly phoned with Sprint. And now, let's go over to our co-anchor, Duty McPherson. Howdy, Duty. One more little froggy leg and a hair from a bald man. It's not easy to find. Oh, boil and bubble and here. Did you like a cool toddy? No, that's fine, thanks. Have yeah. a cool toddy. Well, I, uh, oh. do, do, do you love me? No. Do you want me? No. <laughs> Come on, baby, give it to me. No, it, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, and now, stop that. <laughs> Now over to sports. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Brady's Bloopers. In today's reel, we have some sports highlights from the Clippers, from the Clippers, and from the Raiders, who, who in, in a phenom... In a phenomenal come-from-behind victory, they... Sorry. In a phenomenal come-from-behind victory, they got... My mama said... Eh. Doing, man, I'm trying to. <laughs> Stop it now! Stop it now! You get oh. Stop! Stop! Stop it! Stop! I'm sorry, no. It's not me! It's not me! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! It's not me! It's not me! No, it isn't! It isn't! Go back! Go back! Thank you for that incisive report. Now, why don't we see what's happening in the world of weather with Stormy. Stormy! Well, thank you, Colin. Some very exciting news tonight. As we all know, there's going to be a full eclipse of the moon this evening, which means it's going to get very dark. o'clock news. Join us tomorrow, same time, same news. Good night. Colin. Colin is going to be the anchor of a news show. Colin's lifelong dream to be the anchor of a local news show. Chip, you're the co-anchor. You're a used car salesman who will sell anything. <laughs> Wayne. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. You're Michael Jackson at age 100. <coughs> Determined to show that you still got it. Yeah. And Ryan, you're doing the weather. You are the Back to the Future scientist, desperate to power up his time-traveling DeLorean. <laughs> okay, uh, whenever you hear the music, start the news there, Colin. <laughs> Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm your anchor, Woodrow, but don't have a paddle.
top story tonight. Bars across America were saddened today by the death of Dr. Joseph Lowenstein, the famous doctor who, as a sideline, would make exotic drinks from wood sap, died suddenly today. <coughs> this is one patron who's really going to miss that hickory dackery doc. to our co-anchor, Zinc Lightly. Zinc. Well, thank you, Colin. I tell you what, we're having a big old sale down here, so you're going to come on down. You're going to see the kind of benches that we have right here. This is in mint condition. This has hardly been used. Can I hear you say, yeah? Yeah! All right, well, what we're going to do is I'm just going to let you kick around the sides a little bit here. These are not Firestone legs. These are going to work out for you. These are very good, okay? Something else we got down here. You come on down. You give us 10% down. You give us $200. You can drive off the lot with Colin Mockery. Yeah! Now, we can get you some new tread on this one. That's not going to cost a thing. We're going to take care of that real quick. But you come on down and you tell them I sent you. Can I hear you say, yeah? Yeah! All right, back to you, Colin. <laughs> this just in, co-anchor loses job. <laughs> and now, over to sports with our new sports person, Michael Jackson. Thank you, Michael. If you think that's bad, you should see bubbles. <laughs> now, why don't we go over to weather with our happy weatherman, Spunky. Spunky. Thank you, Colin. We've got lightning. Lightning coming this way. <laughs> but it's not gonna get here in time. I've got to start the car. You sir, sure that's what it said? <laughs> Desperate to power up his time travel. I heard you! <laughs> No, you can't help. Out of my way. I need power. Electricity. I, I've got an idea. Everyone close to the carpet, stand up. These two rows, stand up. Join hands, move into the carpet. Everyone, rub your feet on the carpet. You have got join hands. That was the 6 o'clock news. Join us tomorrow for more news. Good night. Brian, that was fantastic. <laughs> they had a really funny one down here, but I told them not to use it. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't want anything too easy. Yeah. Uh, Denny, your co-anchor is Colin. Colin, you're an awkward teenager on your first date with Denny. Okay. Sports uh, is Wayne. Wayne, you're Richard Simmons. <laughs> Ryan, you're going to do the weather. You're attached to Denny by a strong rubber band. <laughs> so uh, whenever you hear the music, <laughs> Denny, go ahead and start. Welcome to the 6 o'clock evening news. I'm your anchor, Fifi Leadbottom. <laughs> Our top story, residents of... <laughs> Once again, our top story. Residents of San Andreas, California will no longer be able to file for no-fault divorce. And now 
for more news, it's over to my co-anchor, Rock Solid. Rock? It's really nice to be here. I'm, you know, I'm kind of <laughs> Just kind of... Oh! talking about. Ooh, I'm healthy. I'm healthy. I'm healthy. And look at my butt. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I mean. You can be like that too. You can. Yeah. Thank you. This Justin, I'm completely off men for the rest of my life. <laughs> Not <know>. me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's time to go over to our weather guy, Rock, Paper, and Scissors. Rock. Well, thank you very much. Well, let's just wander over to our weather board. <laughs> As you can see, we've got some clouds moving in over the weekend. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Uh, the co-anchor is uh, Ryan. Ryan, you're the co-anchor. You're a bad magician. <laughs> Doing the sports is Patrick. Patrick, you're an emotional actor accepting an award. Okay. So just like your dreams, Patrick. And uh, <laughs> the weatherman is Colin. Colin, you are desperate to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so whenever you hear the music, Brad, go ahead and start. Hello and welcome to the 1130 News. I'm Oblong Monkey Plaster. <laughs> and with the top story and an editorial, here's Cheese Slices. Hello, cheese. I'm Cheese Slices. What is that in your ear, Brad? Is that a wedding ring? <laughs> How did you do that, Cheese? I must have uh, cut my finger in the. Oh, I must. Tell us about the stocks, Cheese. Well, the stocks are going up. Oh, what is that, Brad? That's your hands going like this. <laughs> and now with the sports, here's Turkey Baster. Turkey? Hi. I'm here at the 2014 Olympic pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-trials. And two-year-old Katya Binyabinyakov just did an incredible dismount. Thank you. Thank you. It means so much to me. And, and then she was beaten by a, a fetus who did the uneven bars. And I just want to say thank you for that. Thank you, Turkey. We like you. We really, really like you. And now, over to weather. Please welcome Relish Sandal Straps. Relish? Thank you. Well, it just seems it's pouring all over. <laughs> if you're in the area where the heavy showers are happening, you're in trouble. <laughs> Things are coming to a flow. <laughs> to, to, I guess we've got some flooding coming soon. Stay tuned for the 12.30 news in one hour. Thank you, this has been the Evening Report. Always a pleasure working with you. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh, 
Hey, thousand points for Ryan. He sure had me going. Oh, it was in my sleeve. I just tucked it in my sleeve. I don't. I was amazed. I, I just kinda, tucked it I in my like sleeve. I was like this. Can the whole time. Something's funny. What is that in your face, huh? Go, 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 go. Points to Ryan for getting Brad's chair all wet. <laughs> I love it. Right. No, oh, it's gonna suck in my butt. <laughs> hey, it won't be the first time your butt's been wet. Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm Luce Bowles. And now with the circus report. <laughs> I'm quite hung. And... Come here. Come here. You know what I want. Get down there. Oh, yeah. Okay, great. Great. Colin, your co-anchor is Brad. Brad, you only have a five-second memory. Uh, yeah, like the sound guy. Good evening, I'm Jezebel Spankbottom, and welcome to the 12 o'clock And I shall make a British asshole appear. <laughs> oh, boy. Everybody's going for the juggler tonight, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa.